And yes, there will once again be a Sheridan in the White House! Think your FBI paper pushers are a match for Sheridan's assassins, Amos? I don't. Keep your opinions to yourself, General Carrington. As you know, we can't proceed with the investigation without proof. No one can stop me from conducting my own investigation. You hear me, Amos? Number 13 will soon no longer be a problem. Gentlemen, we're ready to launch operations. Janet, I've just finished my rounds. Do you still need me in this area? Okay, I'll head back to HQ. Feels like today's gonna be a quiet one, huh? Did you see the water this morning? Whoa, what's that? Hold on. I'll call you right back. Sir, can you hear me? Easy. Looks like a bullet wound. Can you move your legs? I can't remember a thing. Do you think you can make it to the truck? Can you hear me? I'll take you to the first aid station. Try to walk. Be careful. Damn it. up an injured man on Brighton Beach. He's got no idea and can't remember a thing. I need to bring him in for a CAT scan as soon as possible. An hour? Perfect. We're on our way. How are you feeling? Still no memory? I found this key in your pocket. Ever heard of Winslow Bank? Here. Who's that?
Mr. Roland? It's been such a long time. I assume you want to access your safe? May I have your key? <clears throat> right this way, please. As you can see, we've upgraded our security system. You can't be too careful in today's world, right? Hello, James. Mr. Roland would like to access his safe. Hello, Mr. Roland. It's still at the far end of the room. Call me when you're ready to come out. Carrington was right. They took the bait. That's the mother load right there. The 20 would kill to get their hands on those files. We'll incriminate all of them from number 20 to number 1. What do you plan on doing on that boat? Confidential, huh? Oh, I get it. Well, if it's another one of that girl's ideas, I'd watch her six. She's nothing but trouble. Go ahead. Set the bomb. I've fallen into my own trap. Well, well. I don't get this security system. How do you lower the gates? Bunch of piss ants. 
Where the hell is he? Anything on your side? damn thing off.
In your deposition, you even added that you don't feel like a killer. How touching. But the law doesn't operate on feelings, now does it? It operates on evidence, which I have in spades. Emory, the snapshots, please. Look at this photograph. See the impact on the back of the head? Where did the bullet come from, in your opinion? That building there, see? Right in the line of sight. And who have we here? Well, need I get a mirror, or are you finally going to confess to the assassination Agent of- Agent Scott, line one. So where's that file? You're not going to believe this, Colonel. Steve Rowland's military file is missing from the Pentagon. And they're positive your man was killed in a mission down in Mexico over two years ago. Well, his widow's in for a surprise. But before we announce your resurrection, Captain Rowland, we're going to... What the devil's going on here? Don't move. I'll get you out of those cuffs. Great to see you again, Steve. Listen, Mongoose has found you. Meet me on the roof. And don't go using G-Men for target practice, okay? The girl from the bank.
my god, they're storming the building! What do they want? I don't know, but they have an RPG. Got a tattoo.
The FBI's got undercover officers in Brooklyn. That's where the guy was transferred. Hurry, 110 Sterling Street. Seeing me again doesn't do anything for you, does it? I can't believe it. You really have lost your memory. Who are you? I'm Major Jones, first officer for General Carrington. Ring a bell? Carrington went missing three days ago. He was leading a parallel investigation into President Sheridan's assassination. He's the only one who can get you out of this mess. It's not safe here. Over the wall. Let's go. Here. I'll go first. Now you! I'm waiting on a call from an informant. He knows where they're holding Carrington. Over there, with the woman! They're out of range. Use the scope! Good job. All clear.
get a running start. More fights were won with a double barrel shotgun to the back. The same shooter showdown outside the old school. Back then it was better to fire off a lot of lead than try to show off with a single shot. No kidding. you! Cowboys just ain't what they used to be. Look out, sniper! shouldn't have let you go on that boat alone. Hey, Jones, do you read me? I've got the info. Roger that. What do you got? Carrington's been arrested by General Stanwell. He's being held at Emerald. Isolated army base in the Appalachian Mountains. I still don't know why Stanwell wants to keep characters away from the Pentagon. And I'm telling you, they're in there!
Don't tell me she's taking off without me. you through without clearance. Hey, wait. What are you doing? Hold it! Stop! No! Let's roll! One more down. We'll move the bodies later. It's easier when they're frozen. This can't be good.
and start sorting the weapons. We load the truck in one hour. Move your asses. main generators. They're pumping 10,000 volts through those ladders.
head for the roof. You should find a way in. The map shows a ventilation shaft in the cliff. Use your grappling hook to get down there.
Not so cocky anymore, are we? <laughs> huh. Alert! Did you hear me, son? Did you hear me, son? Did you hear me? <clears throat> You've got nothing left to prove with the spats, son. I've got a Class A hero mission to offer you. I must question this man. Why did they stick 
me in here. Am I dreaming? My God, I can't believe it. My best man alive. Here's your HF transmitter. Jones, can you read me? What? What do you mean, amnesia? Ah, <laughs> oh, my cigars. <laughs> Look at this half-wit. Let's take care of them. Ready? Ready, son? Hey, Aaron boy, come here. I gotta take another leap. I'm gonna kill him. Cover me. There's a ski lift behind the base. <laughs> An exit. This way. Damn ski lift ever gonna work out once you find the damn fuse. <laughs> Those idiots still haven't found a way to fix this station. <laughs> Get rid of these clowns. I'll brief Jones. Where's that damn fuse? Oh, no!
All clear. Jordan's waiting for us down there. Let's get out of here. Did you hear that? Cover me. Back, son. Damn, we were so close to finding the bastards. The night you disappeared, you were about to ID number one. But naturally, none of that rings a bell now. Listen, there are 20 of them, son. 20 conspirators hiding behind numbers. Captain Steve Rowland was one of them. The notorious number 13. He killed the president, but his accomplices betrayed him and hired the mongoose to kill him. And today, he actually is dead. Well, then, who am I? They're back. Watch out! Get down! The cable's gonna snap! Ah, on my back! I'll go first and create a diversion. Cover me. Yeah, go! The chopper's just past the hill. We're gonna make it. Watch out! 
Welcome to Kansas, Dorothy! girl in the photo. The surgeon did an outstanding job. He's coming to increase the dose of Sephentamin. Shall I start the tattoo? Go ahead. How do you feel, son? This is the widow of Steve Rowland. The man whose identity you've taken. Steve was number 13. I was 17. The leaders of the conspiracy had my husband killed by the mongoose. But Steve managed to drag himself back here before dying. One day, I'll know the faces of those who betrayed him. I want them all to burn. Do you hear me? Even number one. And I want to find the bastard to put the hit on my friend Sheridan. Now why? <clears throat> when they see Steve's ghost, they'll slip up. They might also figure out you betrayed them, Kim. hidden in here, just in case. Hey, can you hear me? Listen, I've identified three members of the conspiracy. They're headed for the Spads camp to attend a secret meeting. You have to be there too. My part of the mission is finished. Now it's your turn. What the? Cover me!
Let's be back now. I knew we shouldn't have trusted her. Break out the RPG! Take out the cabin! Now that I'm cured, Doctor, may I reintegrate my unit? <laughs> pinhead! Pinhead! McCauley's a pinhead! <laughs> Listen, sir, Colonel! Has our new patient recovered his wits? So, my friend, I hear you suffer from amnesia. Yes, sir, Colonel! Shut up! Relax. Clean Rock is blessed with an excellent neurology center. Well, has he spoken? Patience, he only just came to. Number one wants the names of his accomplices. That number 17 imposter may not be the only one who's infiltrated the group. Examine his chest as well. Tell me if you find traces of the three bullets I put in him. I'm starting to doubt this man's identity. I'll take care of it right away. Hose him down and bring him to me. Jerry will be disappointed. What's wrong with him? Okay. Oh, you lucky dog. Got the whole bathroom all to yourself. Quit messing around! 
you for your patronage and wishes you a very fine day. Thank you, Miss Jameson. Please come again. Why won't you talk to me, Miss Jameson? It's not that bad. Come on! Put your head back on! I have a brand new line of girdles to show you.
Good evening, Dr. Michael. Uh, good evening, Brenda. Anything new in the amnesiac? Still nothing. Good God, Johansson is livid. I can't stand him anymore. I'm going home. Tell him my wife is about to give birth. My poodle is having a nervous breakdown. Oh, the poor thing. I remember when my Lulu... Whatever, Brenda. See you tomorrow. Congratulate your wife for me. Oh, ah! instrument isn't stimulating enough, is it? What about this one? <laughs> now tell me, who killed the war seniors? I, I, I don't know! She died before experiencing my most powerful instrument! <laughs> Another rat! She's about to give in to me, did you know that? Ugh. The least they could do is seal the vent from the morgue. Dr. Johansson, I don't understand. The door is locked.
The sanctuary. There are twenty of them, son. Twenty conspirators hiding behind numbers. Gentlemen, it's an honor to welcome the leaders of the group to my estate. And as the prestige of these surroundings is in keeping with our ambitions, I hereby offer you the opportunity to organize our general meeting here. You don't have a choice! Jones, do you read me? Loud and clear. I'm flying overhead. Get out of there. Hurry! Oh my god! Open this door, damn it! Oh god, save me! Find the wheel, drive. Okay. Just don't hurt me, please. Alert! You won't get anywhere in this ambulance. We're in the middle of the desert. There's nothing for miles. This is insane. They're gonna kill you like a dog. Watch out! I don't know who you are, but I'll never forget you. Hey! Good luck! Who was that? Stop playing around, will you? Mongoose and his men are coming down hard.
see him! Over there!
Are you okay? There's a way out behind the roof. The plane's close by. <clears throat> Jones, finally. I feel like I've spent three months inside a tin can. Okay. What do you say we hop on down to Mexico, Captain? Hmm. Margarita's on the beach? More like Rangers and Red Berets. Tighten up your panties. We're going super sun. Colonel McCall runs this badge training camp, and Kim suspects he's part of the conspiracy. He won't be running into many intellectuals down there, mostly black ops and other dragons. This could be another one of that blonde's con jobs. I trust her. Uh-huh. You save her life, and she splits. Jealous, Major? Just get in the damn boat.
news of number 13? Oh, the mongoose will surely take care of him. Let's not bother number one with this problem. In any case, 13 has no power to disrupt the plan. My men are standing by, General. Perfect. <clears throat> now find McCall's tent and plant the bug. His name's on the tip of my tongue. Steve Rowland? No, his rival. Oh, I remember. They were always competing. Damn. Whatever happened to him? I think General Carrington hired him. That was the last I heard. I got it! Fly! His name was Jason Fly! Hey, Fly! I'm out on leave tonight, so don't make me look bad while I'm out. Just because you won yesterday's exercise doesn't make you a hero around here. Steve Rowland, the man whose identity I took. You can fly, you can hide, you can... Are you sleeping in again?
Apparently, McCall's in the same pit he used at Desert Storm. That should give you an idea of what it looks like.
Nice work. Now get back to the boat. What the hell's going on? Hello? to the group. Drop your weapon, man. Let's talk about this. earlier. <clears throat> she figured I'd take her out to some romantic...
Reporting is ordered, Captain. I don't want to be disturbed for the next 15 minutes. Yes, sir, Captain. This is number seven. I repeat, this is number seven. This is number one. Over. I moved up the USS Patriot's departure for the protection of the shipment. The Spatz camp has suffered heavy losses. Number 11 is no longer with us. figure out who number one really is. Number one? Number one? Number 17 reporting. Do you copy? This is number one. What's happening? I passed on the latest plans to number 11. Standing by for your instructions. You weren't supposed to call me until you got the signal. Number 17? Hello? Number 17? I can't read you. Number one, I was so close. I just have to remember his face. USS Patriot, report your destination. Over. Destination Maryland aboard Resolute AFDM-10. Over. Copy that. Out. Outer deck submerged. Four and a half submerged. Maintain heading 12 degrees. Aye, aye.
Here's a nice spot to stow away. Close all hatches and just escort me to the torpedo chamber. You neutralize the intruder. You'll never make it out alive, Roland. We'll both blow up with the missiles. I'd rather die here than tell number one we failed.
doing in there? We've got less than an hour to unload everything. We've lost contact, Colonel. Has someone at least tried to open the airlock? It won't open. Send down some divers. I want to know what's going on. Yes, sir, Colonel. Jones, do you read me? I'm just leaving the airport now. Karen's is taking me. We'll take you up outside Hangar 33. Bad place to be. I better turn back.
Give him Roland's file, sir. Captain Steve Roland faked his own death, officially killed in action. After that, he was free to assassinate the president without anyone suspecting him. But he didn't plan on getting squeezed by his employers. Yes, killed by the mongoose. Yet he somehow got back to his wife's house, where he died. Kim Roland is the one who came up with the dead ringer idea. I arranged for this man to undergo plastic surgery in order to make him resemble Steve Rowland. The bait worked like a charm. The wolves came out of their den. Colonel Amos, this man is innocent. It's high time we started sharing our information. What do you think? They're preparing a coup, General. Two of them are meeting tonight, and I know where.
Frequency one. Done. Keep backup units on full alert. Support the 
I'll give it to number three tonight while we wait for battle at the Sanctuary. What do you think, number five? Perfect. And on my end, the news is rather encouraging. Despite a slight setback, we'll control all of the country's strategic points by tomorrow evening. Through Operation Total Red, we will finally be able to establish our authority. And as anticipated, President Galbrain doesn't suspect a thing. <laughs> They spot us! Willard and Winslow are heading for the elevators! Cut the power! My team's standing by to intercept! Drop your weapon! Oh! Sample the exits! Winslow's returning to the billiard room. Come on! This way! The room at the end of the hall!
Matthews and I spent the entire weekend sanding the ship's hull. Next Sunday, we'll apply the anti-fouling. Shut up with the boats. case we better go reassure our guests um don't forget your robe stay posted in this room yes sir
Hmm. Some banquet. Indeed. Number five wanted to give us a taste of the luxury that awaits us. How will we explain his absence? Some banquet. Indeed. Number five wanted to give us a taste of the luxury that awaits us. How will we explain his absence to the guests? I don't know yet. He's not the only one missing.
The voice of our country's elite will soon be heard. Together, we will lay down the foundations of a new America. Proud, strong, and sound. An America purged of all the parasites that have for too long deprived it of its true grandeur. Colonel Aim is here. Don't move in before my signal. We need as much information as possible before I launch the assault. The maneuvers will be launched tomorrow morning during Operation Total Red. When number three gives the signal, the SPATS units, supervising the armed forces, will impose martial law on the entire country. In less than 24 hours, the new government will be in place. Let us rejoice in advance at the success of our enterprise and duly celebrate the dawn of a new era! <sighs> Let's not keep the buffet waiting, gentlemen. That's all we need! Leave the sanctuary!
Senator Walter Sheridan? Harrington told me everything. I want to help you apprehend my brother's killers. There are 20 conspiracy leaders, all of them with influential positions. Their goal is to abolish democracy in our country by imposing a totalitarian regime. Theirs is a monstrous plan. They aim to take control of the country's strategic network during the war simulation tomorrow. The control center is located in SSH-1. I have access there any time of day or night. That's where we'll find number one. I'm going with you. And then, General, we'll resume our little chat where we left off. Run to a county and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. 
There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. I'll walk you out, Colonel. Good day, Colonel. Oh, uh, uh, good evening, Colonel. Oh. <sighs> 
What the? Busted coffee machine ain't my change. This is Sheridan doing an essay thing one during an election campaign. This is sheer provocation. Might I remind you that he's on the Congressional Budget Committee, which entitles him to oversee the way in which we spend taxpayers' money. He picked a fine day to do it. By the way, where the hell are my bodyguards? <clears throat> As a matter of fact, sir. Just a second, Calvin. Give me some change. Mr. President, sir. The spads have been assigned to your protection for the duration of Total Red. Those hotheads? But, Mr. President. Nothing but the dregs of society, recruited by McCall. Confound it! Not one machine on this base works! Mr. President. But if you feel they're the best, Calvin, I trust you. President Galbraith to the control station, but I haven't heard anything. Can you find- oh! Why is this door locked?
13. Back among us? Help! God, call off all operations before it's too late. <sighs> Take the president to a safe place and find Sheridan. I've lost contact. Mr. President, can you hear me? Okay, he's breathing. Help us, Colonel! Hold on!
position around the strategic network centers. Prepare to declare a state of emergency. When I give the signal, you will order all staff units to take control of every base. It's too late. Give me the access code, quick. The code? This way. If I live through this, I'm going into more game.
This is not good. before they engrave your tombstone. Tell me you have no information about my past, General. Son, the day I recruited you, I didn't ask for your resume. I've always hired my boys based on their skills, and you were a cut above. Hmm, what about Jones? You always appreciated her discretion. Hey, she's invited too. Maybe she'll know something. Here he is, Jason Fly, our national hero. It's a great honor. Hey, Fly! Uh, 
How do you like my new uniform? Well... Baby, you are smoking. I know. What did you do? Lose your razor? And you're funny, too. I know. Not interested, huh? <sighs> Carrington is anxious to speak with you. Go see him. After that, I've got a few words for you myself. Where's your tuxedo? Hello, Fly. Finally we meet under better circumstances. Let's go to the front of the boat, everybody! Wow! Whoa! Fireworks not to your liking, Mr. Fly. <laughs> 